Hello friends, we are in the seventh week of the massive open online course on research and publication ethics. The quality mandate of the UGC emphasizes promoting high quality research and creating new knowledge by the faculty members. The basic objective of this course is to improve the quality of research and to promote the academic integrity as well as publication ethics. During the previous sessions, you have come across that how do we undertake research, how best we can present our work and how do we find out the best places to publish it. And during the course of study, you have already learned the various quality parameters like age index, impact factors, site score for judging the quality of a research paper as well as detection procedure to identify the predatory journals. In the present session, I am going to discuss the regulatory provisions of UGC which was enacted in 2018 to ensure the academic integrity in the process of research. You know, all the researchers, faculties and students have to follow the provisions of UGC promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher education institutions regulation 2018. This regulation covers the researchers, faculties, authors, students who prepare the dissertation as a part of the syllabus will come under these regulations. You should know the important definitions given in the regulation. I may discuss some of them. Suppose the academic integrity. Academic integrity is the intellectual honesty in proposing, performing and reporting any activity which leads to the creation of intellectual property. That means academic integrity is simply the creation of intellectual property which is original. The next you should know the concept of author who will be covered under this regulation. The concept, the regulation includes the student or faculty or researcher or even a staff associated with higher education institution who creates the original work. That is the creator of the work will be treated as the author under this regulation. Next, information. Information includes data, message, text, images sound, even voice, codes, computer programs, databases or microfilm, all will be treated as the information. That means information that you are collecting from the external sources and even the information which you want to disseminate. The next, the most important term used in this regulation is a plagiarism. Plagiarism means the practice of taking someone else's work or idea and passing them as own work. So the plagiarism is simply the copying the other's work. Then the script. Script includes the research paper, thesis, dissertation, chapters in books, full-fledged books and any other similar work submitted for assessment as the partial fulfillment of any degree will be treated as a script. And for the faculty members, the script means the research work or the papers. So it will be treated as the script under this regulation, but it does not include the assignment, project work or answer script. It will not come under this regulation. Now let me discuss the objectives of regulations 2018. The major objective of this regulation are to create the awareness about responsible conduct of research, thesis and dissertations. The other objective is to promote academic integrity and prevent 
misconduct including plagiarism. The another objective is to establish institutional mechanism to facilitate responsible conduct of research and to develop a system of detecting plagiarism. The regulation also describes the penalty provision for a student or faculty or researcher committing the unethical practices during the research work. Now let us see the levels of plagiarism. The regulation 2018 includes different levels. Here we will discuss the four levels of plagiarism. Number one is a level zero, similarities up to 10 percent. Level one means similarities from 10 percent to 40 percent. Level two similarities from 40 percent to 60 percent and level three similarities above 60 percent. So these are the four levels which have been identified by the regulations 2018. The penalties may be imposed on the level of plagiarism whether it is a thesis or dissertation or a research publication. Now we can see the penalty which have been identified by the regulations. As we have already discussed there are four levels of plagiarism level 0, level 1, level 2 and level 3. Let us see the slide first. Level 0, similarities up to 10 percent. We have divided two types of publications. One is in case of thesis dissertation which is mainly prepared by the student and scholar and the second category is the academic and research publications which are basically prepared or developed by the faculties or staff of the higher education institution. So in case of level 0, nothing would be penalized because up to 10 percent it is acceptable. It, is some, it, it means the minor similarities in both the cases whether it is a thesis or dissertation or academic or research publication. So no penalties to be imposed. But in case of level 1, if the article, if the paper, if the thesis or dissertation is found out as a similarities up to 10 to 40 percent, then the penalty provision is like the student will be requested to revise and submit the thesis or dissertation within a maximum period of six months. In case of academic or research publication, the author should be requested to withdraw the manuscript. So it will happen if the similarities is 10 percent to 40 percent. In case of level 2, that is if the similarities 40 percent to 60 percent, then in case of thesis or dissertation, the student shall be deferred from submitting the revised script for one year. So it is applicable for students if he wants to submit his thesis or dissertation if the similarities is 40 percent to 60 percent. But if the similarities is find out from 40 percent to 60 percent in case of academic research or research publication, then there are three types of penalty which have been given in the regulations. The author should be asked to withdraw the manuscript. He shall be denied a right to one annual increment and shall not be allowed to supervise any masters or MPhil or PhD students for a period of two years. So this will happen in case of level two. In case of level three, if similarities above 60 percent, the registration of that particular program shall be cancelled in case of thesis or dissertation. So very, very stringent rules in case of similarities above 60 percent, the registration will be cancelled the, for the students. And in case of faculties, he or she shall be asked to withdraw the manuscript first, then he, he or she shall be denied a right to successive annual increment. and he or she shall not be allowed to supervise any masters, MPhil or PhD students for a period of three years. So these are the penalties which have been given, which have been provided in the regulation 2018. The regulation also describes the institutional mechanism to ensure the academic integrity in research work and publication. We can find out two types of committees. 
The regulation prescribes two types of committees like Departmental Academic Integrity Panel DAIP and Institutional Academic Integrity Panel IAIP. These two committees shall follow the natural justice while deciding the allegation of plagiarism against a student or a faculty and or a researcher or a staff of the higher education institution. The whole mechanism has been chalked out in the UGC regulation 2018 very clearly. All the stakeholders like student, faculties, researchers and higher education institutions may go through the provisions in detail to understand each and every clauses of the said regulation. I hope you have understood the importance of the UGC promotion and academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher education institutions regulation 2018 in any research work. To so, to maintain the quality of the research work, one must follow the academic integrity and ethics in publications, otherwise he or she may face the penalties as delineated in the regulations. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thank you.